Hi guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Today we're going to make a shepherd's pie. And shepherd's pie is, normally it's made with lamb, but I don't like lamb so I'm going to use ground beef. And I did Google, uh, what do you call shepherd's pie with ground beef, and they said it was a cottage pie. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it in this dish right here. I went and bought a pound and a third of 8515 ground beef. So we're just going to dump that in there and we're going to just brown the meat and then we're going to add our ingredients and I'll tell you about that as I add them in. All right, our ground beef is almost done. Now we're going to put in some onions, just use a regular yellow onion, it doesn't matter. Just whatever onion you want. Sweet onions work good too. So we're gonna saute these. And if you notice, I use 8515 that's really lean, so there's not a lot of, we don't need to drain the ground beef. But what we wanna do is add chicken broth or beef broth, whatever you have, just about a fourth of a cup. All right, and then you know, you guys watch my videos, you know that I always cook with wine. This is going to be the shows, one of the shows where I cook with wine that I actually add it to the food. Usually I just add it to me. All right, we got our onions sauteed. I added a little bit of chicken stock. You can use chicken stock or beef stock. I'm going to use, you know, I, I hate to do this, but I'm going to use a little bit of red wine, maybe a quarter cup in here, mix that in. And then we want to thicken this up a little bit, so I'm just going to do a little bit of all-purpose flour. Let this thicken up, and then I'm going to crank up the heat a little bit on this. Mix this in. That'll thicken our sauce with a nice creamy gravy. And now we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, maybe two or three, about three tablespoons of Worcestershire. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of tomato paste. That all added in here. Gives it a really good flavor, the tomato paste, the red wine. And at the last minute, we're gonna add peas and carrots. All right, now let's add our frozen peas to our ground beef mixture. Frozen peas. And I'm gonna add some carrots. Probably, I think I'm doing about a half a cup of peas, a half a cup of, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever you got. Actually, you can just go to the store and buy a bag of frozen peas and carrots and just the whole bag in the shepherd's pie. So we're cooking this. And we're going to add, I'm going to do it the Watkins way. Normally we would dump all this ground beef mixture right in here. Then we would top it with mashed potatoes. Then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. But I'm going to do it a little bit different today. I'm going to put my mashed potatoes on the bottom. Add a little cheddar cheese. Then I'm going to add the meat mixture. And then I'm going to add the potatoes on top. So it's the Watkins way. I'm just going to do it different. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I said this earlier, I'm gonna do shepherd's pie a little bit differently. I'm gonna do it the Watkins way. So I put a layer of the mashed potatoes in there. And remember the garlic mashed potatoes video that I made last week? Well, this is the potatoes. So if you're gonna make shepherd's pie and you got leftover mashed potatoes from the day before, that's fine, just use it. So I'm gonna add a little cheddar cheese, which most people don't do for cheddar for shepherd's pie, but I'm going to because it's the Watkins way. And I'm using sharp cheddar. And since I had to open a bottle of wine to put a fourth of a cup of wine in my mixture here, I'm afraid this might go bad. So it's early in the morning, but you know, I don't want this to go bad. So I'm gonna have a little wine. So cheers to Watkins way guys. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's add our mixture. All 
All right, so we got our potatoes in here. Let's just spread them out. We want to put the potatoes all the way over to the edges because when you put this in the oven, the meat mixture will start bubbling a little bit. Hey, Roxy, what's oh. up? What? You smell, you smell the meat cooking? Roxy and Ringo. I'll tell you what, I start cooking meat and they come in the kitchen. Hey guys, what's up? Huh? Want some? No. <laughs> Later, I'll feed, you, I'll feed you when I'm done. Now what I need to do is add a little bit of my cheddar cheese on top. And this cheese is gonna look really good. Once it's in the oven, it's gonna start turning brown and it's gonna be really nice. All right, so we got our cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. All right, our shepherd pie, we just took it out of the oven, looks pretty good, so let's take a look at this. I'm gonna use a spatula. I don't know if I'm gonna do this right or not, but here's what I'm gonna to try to do. I'm gonna to try to See if I can scoop a piece of this out without screwing it up. And all right, hang with me, guys. I gotta see if I can do this right. After all, we are filming this, so here is my shepherd's pie. How's that look? Looks pretty good, huh? See the steam coming off the top? All right, guys, that's our shepherd's pie. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, I need subscribers. I don't have hardly any, but if you subscribe, it'd help me out. Comments, good or bad, send me the good ones. Don't send me the bad ones. See you later, bye.